understanding them lies in yet another connection. For as you know, Chazal have us understand that each of these days emerges from the dawn of our history and is associated with a seminal event that shapes the early history of our people. Yom Kippur, the anniversary of the faith, the forgiveness of Slicha received for the faith of Tisha B'Av, the sorrow of the Chayyamah. And this is not a coincidence. Because what Chazam are telling us is that if we understand the two sins that give rise to the two occasions, then we better understand the days themselves. The Chedo Egel was at its core the concretization of a desire for distance from a Kodesh Baruch. The Daber Atah Yimano Vinishma that marks the beginning of Matan Torah solidifies into a fear when Moshe apparently disappears. And Klal Yisrael retreat from the obligations of connection with our Torah. When HaKadosh Baruch Hu eventually allows them to re-enter that relationship, he threatens them with the distance that they asked for. The Shalom Nilafanafam it's only upon Moshe's prayers, according to most of the Bavarshim, that that edict is reversed. Cheram Ratham is different. Cheram Ratham is not a desire for distance from a Bavarshim. Cheram Ratham is a loss of sense of self. It's the loss of a vision and an understanding of what we as individuals are capable of accomplishing. Say, Maradlin to the Bnei Yisrael on the border of Eretz Kinnah. It's all a lie. Everything that I'm going to promise you from the moment that we left Egypt, it's a lie. 